This section is all about a little known but great time saver. Now, if you are a keyboard aficionado, you may well know this, but if not, you're in for a treat. I want to move between the different parts of Outlook. Here I am in Veronica's inbox, and I'd like to get to the calendar. Well, there's a simple way to do that. I can use the control key plus the number two. Control and two will move me to the inbox, she says. Control two, there we go. That's now my calendar. I've got several mailboxes here, so this has gone back to my calendar, not Veronica's calendar. Now, I want to get to back to the inbox, so I'll use control and one, and that takes me back to the inbox. What about control and three, I hear you ask? Control and three takes me to people all the people that I have there listed in Outlook. And control and four should be no surprise that takes you to your tasks. So just again, control and one is your inbox, control and two is your calendar, control and three is people, and control and four is your tasks. So going back to my calendar or even my inbox is really simple when I use the keyboard. And if I'm in the middle of doing something, it means I don't need to take my hand off the mouse. Another thing that you can do with the keyboard is display the visual cues on the ribbon. What do I mean by that? Well, if I press the Alt key on my keyboard, you'll see that it gives me these letters and numbers. The numbers are on the quick access toolbar and the letters are on the ribbon. So if I want to go to, for example, the folder ribbon, perhaps I want to do something there, I can press the letter O. And now I've got access to all of the things on the folder ribbon, like creating a new folder or a, a new search folder. More on that later. So there you have it. The keyboard is a great way to save that mouse and that wrist problems. I've had to move to a vertical mouse which I find extremely useful. Um, I'll see if I can get it into the camera. So this is my vertical mouse. It does look very odd, and it took me a couple of days to get used to it, but I wouldn't go back to using a regular mouse now for anything. I was getting lots of wrist pain, and that vertical mouse has got rid of all of that because the angle that you use the mouse is much more like using a pen um, your hand is in the right angle. So there we go, back to keyboard shortcuts. The control one to four to move between different parts of your Outlook program and control and the alt key to display the visual cues so you can learn more keyboard shortcuts.